Good morning, yogis and yoginis. Happy Sunday. Happy post-election day. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that was recording. So if it wasn't, again, happy Sunday. <laughs> happy yoga day. Happy post-election day. Got a few minutes before we start. Um, today's class is going to be a little bit different. We're going to incorporate restorative yoga into our yin yoga class. Um, so what that means, restorative yoga is yoga that is for restoration, for healing, for rejuvenation. Um, it's good if you've ever been sick or you're just super tired or very stressed. Uh, but what this yoga does is it's a lot like yin where you spend uh, most of the postures on the floor. The difference though is we're going to add in a lot of props to help support our body. That way when we rest on these props we feel supported and comfortable and that can really allow us to completely relax. And when the body is completely relaxed your nervous system starts to tap into the rest and digest portion of your nervous system to help calm you down and to help rejuvenate the body from the inside out. So, see if I can move over here. I have right here is a bolster. That's just a fancy yoga name for a firmer pillow. So uh, a body pillow from your bed can work, uh, larger pillows from your couch, or even if you have like a king size bed with um, the longer pillows, those work too. Just grab a couple of them. I have five blankets out here today. I may or may not use them, but I have them out here. Um, I brought a soft blanket because in case I get cold, I can cover myself up. And then the other ones are just a little bit heavier and we'll be laying on those and possibly draping them over us. Uh, if you don't have blankets, you can use towels or even more stacked pillows. And then I also have blocks over here uh, and then blocks just bring the floor up to us. Uh, I've got four over there. You'll probably be okay with two, but again, I always like to have more props and um, instead of not enough. But other than that, we're also going to use the wall for the beginning of practice today, so make sure you have a little bit of wall space where you can slide one hip up to the wall and then swing your legs up onto the wall. So that is what we will be working through today. Let me know when you get here. Say hello. I'm going to say hi on here real fast. I'm going to log on to my phone so I can keep an eye on you guys when I get on my mat. Tell me what's going on with you this fine Sunday morning. And again, if you have any questions before we get started about props, let me know. Um, if you do come into this class completely propless, um, just know it's going to be more of a yin class like we normally do. It just won't be as uh, restorative, meaning restful and relaxing. Um, get creative, though, with anything that you have. Um, I've laid over my dog before. <laughs> so like I said, just get creative. Have fun. And uh, let's begin on our mats. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me get this over here. I'm going to leave most of the props here on the floor for now because we're going to use the wall for the first five minutes of our practice. So if you have a firmer pillow or a bolster like I do, you are going to place it up against the wall lengthwise. We're going to place our booties or our lower backs on it. If you don't have a bolster, you will use a pillow or blankets. So if you're going with a blanket, depending on the size of your blanket, you'll fold it into thirds. So it's more of a rectangle shape. Same thing, you'll place the blanket right up against the wall. And actually, since this is here, I'm just going to use that. So much stuff, I don't even know where to begin today, you guys. All right. <clears throat> so let's start it this way. I always start with my right side, so I am going to come to a seated position on my blanket and take my right hip against the wall here. 
So I'm probably going to make this look really easy because I've done it a lot. When you get into this position, it takes a little bit of shimmying and moving to get your butt against the wall and then your feet up. So come in with me. Go ahead and get that right hip against the wall. Place your hands back behind you. And you're basically going to lower yourself to the ground as you take your feet up the wall. And if you're feeling a little weird, you can even just kind of shimmy your feet up the wall like this. Turning your body and then laying yourself down. Now I can't see you guys, <laughs> so I'm going to try and walk you through this. So once you get down onto your back, your booty probably moved away from the wall and that's okay. I first want you to check in with what your hamstrings, your low back, and how your knees are feeling. You can have a slight bend in your knees here. Your hands can just rest gently on the floor or your belly. And just notice how everything feels. Smooth out the blanket underneath your back if it got a little bit wrinkled or ruffled. So if you're feeling all right here and your booty is away from the wall, try and shimmy <laughs> your bottom closer to the wall. So if you get your booty completely against the wall, obviously you can't move any further. I just want you to make sure that you're comfortable here. So you might be able to extend your legs a little bit longer. Try not to lock out the knees. Wiggle the feet back and forth, maybe shimmy the hips, get the shoulder blades underneath the body, and just relax. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose, and you can open the mouth and let that breath go. Let's take two more breaths just like that, in through the nose, fill the belly up, and then open the mouth and empty the belly out. One more on your own. So close your eyes if they're not already and if you feel comfortable doing so. And just notice how you feel here. Notice the change in the blood flow in your legs. Just notice that sensation that might be happening in your feet, your toes, your low back. Soften the forehead. Relax the jaw. So just create a little space between your upper teeth, your lower teeth. Feel your breath enter your body and expand all the nooks and crannies and crevices of your beautiful body. And then when you let it go, everything softens. So we're tapping into our parasympathetic nervous system. This is our rest and digest system. When we get anxious and panicky, and enter the flight or fight mode. Internally, our body is in overdrive. And in the world we live in today, with technology and information literally at our fingertips, our bodies tend to stay in overdrive longer than needed. We've become so accustomed to this overdrive, we've almost forgotten what it's like to stop and rest, to truly rest. And today I invite you to truly rest. Today I will rest my heart and my worries. Today I will rest my heart and my worries.
Five more rounds of breath with our legs up the wall. If your feet fart, start to fall asleep, I hope they don't fart. <laughs> if your feet start to fall asleep, go ahead and give your knees a little shake. You can even bend into them as much as you need to. Maybe even plant your feet on the wall. So just check in with yourself. Two more rounds of breath. Focus on a long inhale and a long exhale. So if you had the eyes closed, gently flutter them open. And let's just check in with our neck here. Let's look over our left shoulder. And then exhale, look over the right shoulder. Let's try that two more times, looking left. Next breath, looking right. Looking left. And then looking right. Bringing the head back to neutral. We're gonna slide off the wall here. So let's just bend into our knees crawl those feet down the wall and we're just going to roll on to I'm going to go to my left side whatever side you'd like to go to you pick just roll on to your favorite side and let's crawl ourselves onto our yoga mat here we're going to take banana pose so if you have all of your props spread out and need to rearrange go ahead and rearrange I've got a little rearranging to do here but we're going to come on down to our back. We're going to extend our legs long. So reach those feet and toes to the end of the mat. And then let's gently reach our hands above us. So extending maybe past the top of your mat. So you're just making your body really long here. Let's point the toes and then flex the toes. Try one foot at a time today. We're really just trying to tap into a different line of energy. Fill that belly up with air, with the breath in, and let it go, feel it soften. So in order to get into banana pose, we are going to take our right hand and grab our left wrist. On the inhale, we're going to lengthen our body long, so stretch those fingertips to the top of your mat. And then on the exhale, we're just going to lean over to the right corner of our mat. So now our hands and our fingers are reaching to the right corner of your mat. So it's behind you. With your next breath, crawl your heels to the right corner of your mat. So what you're looking for, I'm not sure how easy it is to see on this video, but you're making your body into a semi C shape, like the letter C or a banana shape. So when you start to take that shape, pay attention to your left hip and IT band. So that's the outer part of your hip. We're looking for a stretch there and a little stretch in our rib cage and our spine. You are welcome to cross one ankle over the other. And honestly, it doesn't matter. Everyone's anatomy is different. A left over the right might feel good to you, but not to me. A right over the left might feel good to me and not to you. So try both. See how they feel. If you're like, actually, I feel the best with them uncrossed, that's the shape you could take today. So let's settle in. If you start to notice laying here, though, and being perfectly still, that your body gets a little bit cold, please feel free to grab a blanket and put it over you. Use your blanket as an actual blanket. And I'm going to grab mine right now because why not? I'm going to rest too. Finding that shape. Let's take our three breaths. 
Deep breath in through the nose. Fill the body and let it go out the mouth. Deep inhale in. Longer exhale out. You've got this last breath all on your own. I rest my heart and my worries today. We're approaching our last 60 seconds. Three more rounds of breath. With a soft exhale, you can slowly uncross the ankles if you cross them. Start to crawl your heels and your legs back to the center of the mat. Slowly hinge your upper body back to the center of the mat. And let's just bring our hands to our bellies. On top of your clothes, underneath your blankets, your pillows, whatever you have going on. And for three rounds of breath, I want you to feel the rise and the fall of your belly. If you do not feel your belly rising and falling, it just means you're probably breathing up here in your heart and your chest. So see if you can breathe a little bit deeper into your diaphragm, into your belly, filling it up like a balloon, and then slowly letting it deflate. Let's make our way into our banana pose on the opposite side. So let's extend those hands overhead, reaching behind us. Feet extend long to the end of your mat. This time the left hand grabs the right wrist. And let's pull ourselves over to the left top corner of our mat. Both shoulders stay grounded. Let's slowly crawl our heels and our feet to the left corner of our mat, making that C shape with our body in the opposite direction. So take what you need with your legs here, crossing one leg over the other, see how that feels, and then try the opposite foot on top. It does not have to be the same as what you did on the right side. It's what feels comfortable and most relaxing for you. When you find your most comfortable shape, take that deep breath in and let it go. Two more breaths on your own. If you are catching the wave here, we're paying attention to threes.
check in with yourself here. Are you clenching any body parts? It might even be the grip you have on your wrist with your hand. Can you find a little bit of softness, ease, and rest in your grip on your body? Today I rest my heart and my worries. We're at our last 60 seconds, yogis. Notice the fluctuations in your mind. How can you use your breath to soften your thoughts? With your next soft breath, slowly start to come back to your long pose. So let's uncross the legs if you had them crossed. Slowly inch your heels and your feet back to the center of your mat. Then with your next breath, slowly start to hinge your upper body back to the middle. And soft exhale, the hands can come back down to your belly. And let's find those three breaths once again, those deep belly breaths. Inhale through the nose. Feel the collarbones widen, the rib cage widen, and the belly expand. Then let everything soften on the way out. Belly releases, rib cage softens, chest softens. You've got this. First breath together, the next two on your own. So if you had a blanket on top of you, Let's slowly fold it off of us. Is that even a thing? Fold it off of you. <laughs> Take it off of you and let's just set it off to the side. And let's push, push ourselves up to a seated position for just a moment. So getting there any way that you'd like. You can rock up. You can roll up. You can go to one side. So we're going to take a little bit of a mashup pose. I want you to grab either, if you have a bolster, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, if you don't have a bolster though, you are going to use your stacked blankets. So let me set this up for you guys so you can see first. I have four Mexican blankets here. So Mexican blankets are a little bit thicker uh, and a little bit firmer. So I have, what did I say? I have three right here. I'm going to use three. 
depending on what blankets and pillows you have, I would say have it stacked at least eight inches high. So if you need to jump up and grab any other props, go for it. Uh, stacking your pillows here. Uh, you can even, if you have blocks, you can stack blocks on top of each other. You might need four to six, but what we're looking for is the length to be about as long as your spine from your low back up to your shoulders. So basically the length of your torso. Once you get those all stacked up, and I guess I'm using pillows now, not my bolster, <laughs> you are going to, actually I might need my bolster. Okay, here we go. So you are going to sit at the end of your stacked props. You can cross your legs or the feet can be planted. And you're just going to lay down comfortably onto your props here. So take a minute and see how this feels for you. These blankets actually are pretty high for me. So when um, what I mean by that is when I lay down, my chest is lifting up. My hips are slightly tilted. Um, but my neck is strained, so my chin is lifting up, so I just know that's too high for me. So when you lay down on your props, if you feel like your chest is lifted too high and your head is hanging down, remove one layer of props. So take a blanket away. All right. Hopefully you found your comfortable position. Let's pause here, bend our knees, keep the feet flat on the floor. Let's just see how our low back feels in this shape. Your arms can be wherever is comfortable for you. So they can be by your sides, they can be on your belly. You may even want them up over your head resting on um, the floor or your props. So this might feel really, really good to you, and I am going to give you the option to stay in this constructive, supported, restful fish pose. Kind of fish pose. It's a supported fish pose. Either way, this is very restful. Grab your blanket, put it over your shoulders, and be comfortable. If you'd like to work a little bit more into your hips and your spine, your feet will be about as wide as your shoulders, so almost hip width of your mat and we'll drop our knees to the right side of your mat. So when you drop your knees the legs will be stacked. So when I drop my knees they're stacked like this. My top knee is resting on my bottom calf. Again check to see how this pose makes your body feel. If it does not feel good don't do it or I'm going to throw out a bunch of options for you. If this is too much rotation on your spine and your hips, you can grab a block or a blanket and place it underneath your right thigh or knee. So you're just bringing the floor up to you. Uh, you can also use a blanket or a block in between your thighs to give your thighs some cushion or padding. So there's a couple options for you. If you don't want the props for this twist, you don't have to have them. But let the arms, again, do whatever that feels good and comfortable for you. And let's breathe into this twist. Let's breathe into this low back release. So remembering that these postures and these props for the postures are here to make you feel more comfortable. So if there's something that I didn't say and you're like, man, I like this blanket underneath my foot, put the blanket under your foot. Since I can't see you, I can't tell you and ask you. So I'm going to let you be your best teacher. Lay here for a minute if you're still not comfortable and ask yourself, what do I need to be comfortable? Maybe you need another blanket underneath your head. Maybe it, a, not, a, not another blanket. Maybe you need less of a blanket. So take what you need, you guys. Restorative yoga is so individualized. I'm just here to kind of provide the shape for you.
Remembering this class is about rest. It's about release. And it's about softening. We have another full minute here. Let's connect to those three breaths. Deep breath in, fill the belly. If you even want that hand back on your belly, feel free to put it on there. And let it go. Two more. In. And release. The last one you've got all on your own. On our next breath, we're going to come back to that neutral position. So if you had a block or a blanket in between your thighs or on top of your body, slowly take that off. And let's just roll our left hip back onto the bolster or pillow. Both knees point to the sky, feet are on the floor. Hands come to the belly. And let's just breathe here. Take note how the hips feel, how the low back feels. So if you feel like you've rolled off of your little back support, take a moment to readjust. And we're going to take that same posture on the other side. So again, if you're here and you like your feet planted and rooted to the earth with the knees bent, and you're just comfortable where you're at and you don't want to move, please stay where you're at. Please restore. Please feel safe and supported. You do you. If you're ready to take a twist to the left side, slowly drop the knees to the left. So when your knees fall over to the left side, if they don't reach the floor, grab a block or a blanket or a pillow and slide it underneath the left knee or the left thigh. So depending on where it's more comfortable for you, and it depends on what prop you have, you might be able to support your entire leg with a big pillow. If you have a block, it might just work for the knee. So wherever you're at, with the knees dropped to the left, check in with those hips. If you wanted a block or a blanket in between the thighs for this, place that there to give your legs a little extra love and cushion. If you're starting to run out of blankets or props, though, don't worry. We're softening, we're breathing, and we're resting. We don't have to worry anymore today. Well, at least for right now. So let's settle in for the next two and a half minutes. If you're not sure where to put your hands, Find a spot for them. I'm actually not sure where I want mine right now. Let's get quiet. And let's find those three breaths. Soft, long inhale. And a soft, longer exhale times three.
Today I rest my heart and my worries. Allow your body to be super heavy here. Envision all of your muscle fibers releasing the grip on the bones in your body as your tendons, your ligaments, your fascia, your organs, and all the other magic inside of you is relaxed. With your next soft breath, wiggle your fingertips, let your arms rest by your sides. If you had a block or a blanket or any prop in between the legs, slowly and gently slide it out, place it off to the side. Let your right hip start to roll back down to the earth. The knees can point to the ceiling or the sky. Let's just pause here for a minute. Let the knees fall into each other so they rest against one another. And then heel to the feet a little bit wider. Just letting your whole spine feel the love. So let's roll off of our stacked props here. So just pull the knees in, roll off to the left or the right side. Take your time. Go slow. We've been on the floor for a while. Don't want to shock our brains here. But when you come up, you want to come up just enough that we can move those props out of the way. We're going to come into seated butterfly and I actually I like to call this butterfly the cocooned butterfly and you'll see why. Feel free to sit on one of your blankets, a pillow, or your bolster. Let me grab my bolster. When you sit on your prop, bring the edges of your sits bones, so those little bones in your butt that you feel when you sit down, bring them to the edge of your prop. Grab another blanket. At the beginning of the class, I did say I brought a softer blanket for actually using as a blanket. So if you brought a softer one, grab that one. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. And then let's take the feet wide. So we're going to make a really big diamond shape here. Feet are together, wide diamond shape. Grab your soft blanket or whatever blanket that you brought with you today. Unfold that sucker and wrap it around you. Get it on your shoulders, get it around your booty. If it's big enough, you might be able to wrap your feet up. But keeping the feet together, keeping the blanket on you, we're cocooning ourselves like a little caterpillar. Coming into our butterfly shape like 
a little cocoon, let's prepare ourselves for a transformation. Three breaths, just like we've been doing all class. And let's, I don't know if you could see me, but let's take one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. It's no right or wrong, it's whichever one feels best for you. Let's take our three breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. Fill the belly. Let it go. Two more times. In. Open the mouth. Let it go. On our last breath, drop the chin to the chest. Now let's breathe in. On the exhale, breathe out. Let the hands drop into your diamond shape. Round the shoulders forward. And think about bringing the forehead or your head to the mat. So we're not leaning forward, we're rounding forward. If you even want to grab your blanket here and start to round down. So remember, our spine is round and not straight here. Let the chin drop to the chest still. Make any adjustments with your little cocoon and your blanket. And let's breathe here a full three minutes. So finding your little cocooned butterfly, I invite you to give yourself permission to be reborn. That word seems so powerful to me right now. Every day that we wake up, we have a chance to renew ourselves, to be reborn, if you will. Today is a new day. Today is a brighter day. And today you've allowed yourself to relax and to restore, to become renewed. So this invitation is extended to you today to become the best version of yourself. We're at our last minute. This last 60 seconds. These are your final breaths to add to your magic, to add to your transformation, and to your rebirth. On your next soft inhale, slowly press your hands onto your feet or the floor and start to lift yourself up. Take your time, move as slow as you possibly can as you start to emerge from your cocoon. 
Allow your body and your spine to feel this new energy. Start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Leaving the chin connected to the chest as you come all the way up. Slowly pull your feet in, crossing the right ankle in front of the left. On your next breath in, lift the chin so it's parallel to the earth. On your next inhale, I want you to grab the edges of your blanket and inhale those arms up overhead. Opening your cocoon, drop your blanket, stretch your arms out to the sides, drop the shoulders, look up, breathe in the new life, the new breath, and let it go. The hands can rest down by the sides. Just notice how you feel in the seated position. Feel the transformation and feel the beauty radiating, radiating out from inside of you. So let's plant the left hand onto the earth next to us on the left side. If your hand feels far away from the earth, you can set it on your blanket, your block, your bolster. The left hand is down. Let's inhale the right hand out to the right and then up overhead. And then exhale, let's lean to the left, opening the right side of our body, keeping the right hip grounded down. Good, inhale, take it up. Right hand plants to the earth block or a prop. Inhale, left hand sweeps out to the left, up overhead. And then exhale, reach over to the left, opening the left side body. Left hip stays grounded down. So let's flow back and forth a couple times at our own pace. Inhaling, both arms can reach up. Exhaling, left arm comes down, right arm reaches. At your next breath, your next pace, take it to the other side. So we're adding just a little bit of yang to this yin slash restorative. So the goal here is just to feel your new breath. Let it travel down your spine. Feel the new you. Feel the new universe. Finish up on your last round, making both sides be even. And then we're going to hold a twist for one minute. So coming back to your seated position, right leg in front of the left in case they moved. We're going to twist to our right. And as we twist to our right, let's bring our left hand across our body to our knee. Our right hand is going to reach behind us like a kickstand behind our booty. So if you're sitting on your blanket, feel free to place your hand on your blanket. We're twisting to the right for one minute. This is a soft hold, so don't feel like you have to crank it really hard. Remembering this new energy, this restful, restored energy. We're not overloading. We're just being. Check in with your jaw here. You can even look down, look up, look over the shoulder. Just check in with the neck. Soft exhale, let it go. <sighs> Twist back to the center. One round of breath in, and then let it out. So now let's twist left, turning the torso left, then let's take the right hand across the body to that left leg. Left hand sweeps behind the body, back behind the spine like a kickstand, placing that hand on your prop, maybe the floor. 
So remembering we're not cranking here. This is a very gentle, small twist. Holding here for one minute. Let's tap into those three breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Check in with your neck, looking down very slowly, very gently, slightly looking up, looking over that left shoulder. Good on the exhale, let's find ourselves twisting back to neutral position. Wiggle those hips side to side, find those sits bones, and let's just switch our leg position. So right leg was in front of left, let's just switch, taking the left in front of right. Maybe you readjust your hips on those pillows. Notice this new sensation. So we're going to give ourselves a big hug here. It doesn't matter which arm is on top. Just give yourself a big hug. Reach your hands towards your shoulders. Maybe you even grab your shirt. Whatever you can grab. And we're going to roll down. So we're going to do kind of another mashup pose here where we're rounding our spine and also stretching our um, shoulders here and the, our upper back. So think of it kind of like cat-cow where we round our spine down and then lift back up. So on the exhale, let's pull the elbows down, pull the belly button into the spine, and then let the spine round to the back of your mat as you tuck your chin to your chest and you start to lean forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. Holding your arms here. So what you want to do is roll down and up one vertebrae at a time. We're just going to do a few of these. The goal here is not to get the upper body to the floor. I just really want you to feel the stretch along the upper back body, along your lats and those shoulder blades. We're going to give our shoulders just a little bit of love at the end of the class here before we take our favorite pose, Shavasana, our yogi nap. So it doesn't matter how fast or slow you're going. It's your practice. You do what you need to feel your best. Let's take one more roll. Release your hug if you need to shake out your arms, shake them out. And we're going to come into a supported child's pose. So this one's going to be a little bit different. It's not the wide-legged kind. So let's make our way to our knees. So many props, you guys. So many props. Okay, so child's pose. If you have sensitive knees, feel free to grab a blanket and put it underneath your knees. The knees are together. The big toes are together. If you also have sensitive knees, you can put a blanket on top of your calves so your booty rests on the blanket. The next prop you'll need will be a block or another blanket. <laughs> so we're going to give our shoulders love. We're going to let our hands hang down. I always like to think of being like a gorilla with my knuckles dragging. <laughs> so let's lean forward, knuckles dragging. A block or pillow is out in front of us. Let's fold our torso over our thighs. If your butt lifts up, that's okay. You've got cushion under your knees and then um, underneath your booty for extra padding. So as you're coming down to the floor, especially if your butt lifts up, you might need to look for your block or pillow and then just slide it right underneath your forehead. And then you let your hands, the backs of them, be really heavy on the floor and your shoulders feel really heavy. So the focus here again is letting the shoulders relax and be heavy. We're letting the spine round. If you find you don't need a block, you can bring the forehead to the floor. 
So wherever you're at in this child's pose, find your best shape. Remembering to use any of the props that you might need. While we're here breathing, go ahead and open the mouth and on the next exhale, let everything out. <sighs> Almost like a lion's breath, but you don't need to stick your tongue out today. I just really want you to let it all go. Especially if you have a little bit of space between your face and your mat. If you've got that prop in between there. Don't be afraid of that space. Use your breath. Fill your space up with your magic. Shoulders are heavy. Hips are heavy. Head is heavy. The mind is light. Let's take our final three rounds of breath here together. Deep inhale. Let it go. And again, breathe in peace. And exhale peace. Breathe in love. And exhale, love. With your next breath, you can slowly drag your hands and place them underneath your shoulders. And then use the weight of your hands and your arms to help push yourself up. Take it really slow, maybe even walk your hands up onto your thighs as you start to lift yourself up to your kneeling position. Take a deep breath in, roll those shoulders back and let it out. We're gonna move right into our Shavasana, our corpse pose, our yogi nap from here. Your Shavasana today, I want it to feel very supported. So the way we're gonna set up Shavasana is gonna be just a little bit different. I want you to stack all of your blankets on top of each other. So all of them, except the soft one. If you brought the soft one for covering up, leave that one out on the side. <laughs> so all the blankets are going to be stacked up. I've got four here. Place them slightly at the bottom of your mat and then come on down to your booties. We are going to place the backs of our calves on our stacked blankets. So you will swing those legs up there on your stacked blankets and then you can roll yourself down onto your back. If you need to readjust a little bit once you get down onto your back, take a little adjustment. If you also have blocks, or more blankets. I like to make what I call a little fort. I like to support my thighs and I like to give myself a block hug by putting blocks right next to my hips. So my legs are completely supported. I've got my arms supported on the blocks. And now I'm going to take my comfy blanket and I'm going to wrap myself up like I'm going to sleep. 
you join me grab your blanket grab your blocks grab whatever you need if you decide you need something else if you want to take me into your bed with you okay wait that was really weird don't take me into bed with you <laughs> if you want to get in bed and do this <laughs> go ahead and take your phone or whatever you're watching on into your bed and get comfortable <laughs> Uh, I love you guys. You know, I had to add a little weirdness here, a little humor. All right, but we're resting. A little humor is medicine for the soul, too. A little humor, a little rest. We're going to go far today, guys. So get comfortable. Everything is supported. If you even have extra blocks or blankets and want them around your shoulders, get everything snug against you. Get comfortable. And let's Shavasana together. I think we're going to go over a little bit on time. It's 928. If you have to go, I understand that. But at least give yourself two minutes here to completely lay here and rest. If you fall asleep, more power to you. If you got to go, like I said, I understand. But we're all going to Shavasana together. I'm going to wrap myself up here. I'm going to get quiet. And we're all going to breathe. We're going to connect with that those three breaths first. And then you drift into your own Shavasana. Take a breath in. And let it go. Another breath in. Expand the rib cage and the belly. And let it go. Last one, let's get even softer. Inhaling, feel the rise. And the exhale, let it go. Find your soft spot, find your surrender, find your rest. Today, I will rest my heart and my worries. Yogis and yoginis, we are going to end our practice here in our Shavasana, laying down. We'll go through our three breaths to seal our practice. And if you'd like to stay here and rest, I invite you to do so. I'm actually going to be quiet on the way out for those of you that would like to stay here and continue to have a restful practice to rejuvenate the body and the mind. And if you choose to leave your Shavasana, I want you to enjoy your day, enjoy the rest, and enjoy the pause. Place both hands on your heart. 
and take a breath for yourself. Take a breath for someone you love. And take a breath for someone who may be suffering. This world could use all of the love that we have to offer. Thank you, yogis and yoginis, for showing up for this class today, for showing up for yourself. The light in me honors, respects, and sees the light in each one of you, sending infinite love and gratitude to all. Namaste. Again, please feel free to stay here and rest. I am silently going to slip out of class. Again, I love you guys. <laughs>